Y'all, the, the house is gone. That's right, everybody. Welcome back to another console map tour here of Oak Hill by Lancey Boy. And the first thing you can see right here is the house is missing. Now, I know a lot of uh, content creators have already put out map tours of this. But after seeing this, I thought I'd go around the map and see if anything else has changed. I know this is a very, very anticipated map, and I just want to make sure that we get it right and show you guys exactly what the console players are seeing right now. So I've got a JCB here. We're going to go a little bit faster around this map today. I'm going to start off taking you down to the main farm and showing you all the equipment that you start with and the property. And then we'll make our way around and see the rest of it. So let's go ahead and jump into the JCB here, fire it up, and take off. Now the interesting thing is you don't actually own this piece of property that we're sitting on, or we're on, um, to begin with. You actually own right down here. Now everybody knows this map was by Lancy Boy, but does everybody know the size? It's 545.89 megabytes. And it was released on January 19th of 2021 as version 1.0.0.0. So as you can see, we're going to get out of here. And this is your starting lineup. You've got the old Fiat 1300DT. You've got a cedar. You've got a plow. You've got a trailer. So let's take a look over here at our options, or at our menu. And you'll see the garage. Like I said, this is the one that I have right now. I got it to do some other, to get around the map a little bit faster. This aggro liner, I also leased. You are not going to have this one either. You start with the Fiat. You start with the Strautman trailer. You start with the plow. You start with the cedar. That's it for equipment. Very, very base entry. Now, you can see that the... Um, Slot count is 664. Like I said, that's what the other equipment I have. You are going to start this map at 632. And all three. So it doesn't matter which way you start. Whether you start new farmer, start from scratch, or farm manager. You are going to have 632 slots. You get to start with everything. Now you're not going to have the land, obviously, in the other ones. But you are going to have these pieces of equipment. Another thing that you're going to have is a large grain silo. You're going to have a smaller grain silo. You're going to have silage shed. Only one. And it's really cool. Let's take a look at it. It's the first time I've seen a covered one. Like I said, I haven't been playing the game very long. Well, I mean, I guess I have, but not long as compared to how long Farming Simulator has been around. Um, but it's actually on another piece of property that you don't own right off the bat. So let's take a look at the map. All right, so here is the map, and I wanted to show you what you're going to start with. So you're going to start with up here. You're going to have uh, fields 47, 51, and 52. I've purchased the other ones because I wanted to, you know, have the different farms and highlight where all the other animal farms are at easily on this map while we're looking at it right here. So fields 47, 51, and 52. If we zoom in a little bit, you can see that there's a main road that's coming right through here. You own everything on the north side of it. And you have some options and things around here. Now your shop is super close right here. That's going to be the first place that we take a look at. And you've got your animal dealer there also. And then the uh, a bale sell point. Um, you've got a pig farm. You're going to have a cow farm here. You're going to have sheep here. Some chickens all the way over here. Down over here, it's cows. You got more sheep, and that's it. So I do have precision farming loaded on here so we can see how big these fields are. So if I come over here and select this, you can see that this whole block of area is 2.09 hectares. So it doesn't separate it out into the individual fields, but that whole area right there is that. Also, it's the absolute worst type of soil. It is loamy sand. So, if you're really looking to make some money on that piece of property, I'd sell it. 
<laughs> Next, we're coming down here to field 45, another farm, pig farm. And it's going to be silty clay. Not bad. Down over here at the cows, it's pretty good. You've got loam and sandy loam. Over here, 77 and 78, a uh, sheep farm, pretty decent. You got some loam in there, a little bit of sandy loam. The chickens, 100% sandy loam, or loamy sand, absolutely horrible field. If you're running precision farming. Now fields 88, sandy loam and 92. That is a 100% yield on that. Down over here at the other sheep, 100% loamy sand. There is a lot of loamy sand on this map, y'all. Holy cow. If we keep coming around here, you can see the way that you're going to be buying these pieces of property. In blocks, I don't think there's anything really cheap. I mean, not cheap, but individual. You can buy the whole outside for $0. Awesome. Lancy Boy really likes to do that. And it comes with some of this little stuff in the middle. So if you wanted to do some snow missions or something like that, that's awesome. You're going to get all the main roads that you're going to be able to plow. That's really, really cool. Now, the BGA is going to be right over here. And if we click on it, it's only going to cost you 58000 to be able to buy. Now, you also are going to have another farm right here in the middle. There's no animals associated with it, but if you want to buy it, it's going to cost you 444000 Holy cow. And it's 100% loamy sand again. There is a ton of loamy sand on this map. Wow. Wow. And then um, you've got seed tanks down here. Hey, let's take a look at that. How much is that? Uh, right here. So another 454, 100% loamy sand. That is absolutely crazy that these ones with a lot of your stuff that you really probably want to buy are having a lot of loamy sand on them. You know, over here, 100% loamy sand. Wow. So if you wanted to buy the original plot of land up there, it's 214000 But enough of all this. Let's start looking around at some of the different storage options that you have. So pretty nice here. You also have back over here. You can put some stuff in there. Really nice. You got another little shed that's over here that you're going to get to store some stuff in. And if you guys know Lancy, Mo Lancy Boy and his maps, he gives you an absolute plethora of storage options. You've also got this shed right here. And check this out. It's got lights. I think most of them, most of them do. Yeah, most of these have lights. So now that we've checked all that out, let's go ahead and hop in the tractor and go across the road and check out the animal dealer and the shop really quick. So we'll spin around here. Oop, man, I need to learn how to drive y'all. Sorry. So here is the animal dealer. And you're going to be able to buy all your stuff right in there. And it looks like, let me go ahead and hop out. It looks like you can pull through. That's really cool too. So you're going to be able to pull through there to load up your animals. And right over here is going to be the shop. So you're going to be able to work on your vehicles right here. And check this out. Really nice colors on the cloths. Really, really nice. Another old lizard sitting down there, broken down. And a really cool uh, crompie trailer. Awesome. Now, the bail cell point is going to be right here. You can see. And um, you got another storage shed that if you wanted to squeeze something in here, you could. Smaller equipment, obviously. But he gives it to you to be able to use. Let's go ahead and hop in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a trailer now to go around a little bit more of the map. And the reason is because I want to see some of these different fill points that say like sea tank and things like that. What can we get out of them? Okay, this is a bulk trailer, so we should be able to get just about everything. So let's pull up the map really quickly once again. And I want to go right down over here to another bale and uh, bales of manure and then a garden center. And then we'll start making our way around to see what else has really changed on this map. So I might do a little bit of jump cuts um, to get us around quicker so we're not sitting here for an hour. Because I know some of those map tours before were lengthy. Not that they weren't in-depth and needed. Um, 
But I want to just kind of give you guys the overview of what might be different. So we're going to, you could turn in right there if you wanted to. And I guess that was the only spot. Um, yep, that was the turn in. So let's see if you can go through hedges. Yes, you can. I don't always play realistically. So uh, driving through the hedges is not completely unheard of for me. So we're going to come in here. Oh, man, again. I'm not used to these fast tractors, y'all. How in the world do you even get back here? I guess you got a snake right through there. Wow. So let's see, can we get anything out of here? I don't get any notification for that. I'm gonna get stuck, aren't I? And I do play with the steering wheel also. So sorry once again, y'all. I am having a really, really hard time with this thing. Let's see if we can get anything here. I don't see a trigger at all. It just looks really pretty. So you've got a couple sale points here. Back over there, you're going to be able to dump um, manure and straw and grass, it looks like. And then over here, looks like uh, maybe some sugar beets and potatoes. So let's take a look at the map and see exactly what this says. Garden Center and Bales Manure. So if we come over here... Uh, the bales manure, it's going to be the top one. So the top one is going to accept all of those items. So, yep, manure, straw, hay, grass, um, silage. It looks like lucerne um, and dry also. Dry lucerne. Okay, that's what that means. Wet lucerne and dry lucerne. So, like, the grass and hay version of that. And then the garden center is going to take sugar cane and it's going to take your lucerne, your dry, your um, rogan rye. So rye. It's going to take sugar beets, potatoes, corn, I mean, all your main crops. So that's really cool. Now let's see if I can get out of here without uh, hitting anything too much. I'm already... I'm not living up to my driver name very well today, am I, everybody? Here we go. I think it truly is the speed of this tractor. I mean, 73 kilometers an hour. That is fast. Really fast. And I haven't driven this one ever before. So, next let's head on over to one of the farms that we can own. Alright, so we're coming into one of the farms that we can own here. This is actually going to be a cow pasture, I do believe. Let's check on the map really quick. Yeah, so we're sitting right here. This is going to be uh, cows, and you're going to have a seed tank back here too. So let's um, hop out real quick and take a look. And all these are custom by Lancy Boy also. So looks like you're going to have straw in here. It looks like... Um, I'm not sure where the manure is going to go. Huh. Interesting. I don't think it's going to be in that building. But I know for sure your buy point is going to be right here. And your water is going to be out here. If we hop back across, looks like food's going to be here. Yep, and I think your straw. And then you've got this other little shed over here that you get to use too. So really cool. It's inside the animal pen. And then once again, tons of storage spots. we got some lights here. Really cool. More storage. More storage. We got more storage back here. This is your slurry tank. Okay, that makes sense. And that's going to be... Is it a silo? Yeah, this is a bunker silo right here. Awesome. So this one you're not going to be able to sell even if you own the property. And then there's a seed tank right here that it says. And honestly, it's... Oh, man. I don't know if I'm skilled enough to get in there tonight, y'all. So, I didn't see a spot for a silo. Even though these are sitting here, I didn't see a spot on the map for a silo. So, I don't think you're going to have one here. 
Um, I think you have one over here at this spot, and then you have the one down over here. Yep. So, that's that. Looks really, really nice. Really nice. Am I going to be able to go around? Yes, I am. Okay. So, actually, I might be able to do that. If I can drive around through here without getting stuck on anything, then we'll come around over here and back up to it and see if we can fill this thing up with some seeds. Lancy Boy's really good about putting seeds and stuff on there. Alright, so we can fill. So it looks like you're going to have seed and seed only. So no fertilizers or anything like that in there. Okay. So next, let's take a look at the map and see where we want to go. We are right up here. And I think there's... Let's run over to this farm over here where your actual silo's at. Yep, so I will see you guys over there at that area. Alright, so here we are coming up to this farm that has our silo. So it looks like I'm going to need to open the gate. So let's do that. Alright. And once again, tons of storage options here on this farm. Looks like you've got a water point over there. You've got your seeds tucked back over there in the corner. And your silo is going to be over there on the other side. Right over here. So it looks like you're going to have to drive through the building. Oh, this is an awesome little detail. You're going to have to drive through the building to be able to drop off. Oh, this is awesome. Now, I know some people may not like that. I think it's really, really cool and unique, right? So you maybe be careful with some of your bigger trailers, um, but that is really, really cool. And another really cool thing, oop, once again, y'all. Y'all need to give me a, I mean, not like a catch raise, but like if I, if I hit something, what do I call it? You know, get a little spot over here. You can put something else if you want to expand out just a little bit more um, for whatever you would like. So, it's a nice little setup here. A little bitty farm you can definitely put a lot of equipment in. So let's take a look at the map now. And what I want to do is I want to come over here to the cows. So, let's actually come right over here. We're going to go look at the these cows first. Sorry, these are not cows. These are sheep. So let's come over here and look at the cows first. And then we'll run back over here and take a look at the sheep. And then we'll run down and look at the chickens. So yeah, I will see you guys down there at the other cow farm. Here we are. Got the cattle guards and everything. Got another point right here. What is this one? Oh, fuel tank. Awesome. So a little fuel tank right there you're going to be able to get some out of. More storage options all the way around here. Got a cool bunker silo over here too. Let me uh, turn this off. But we got this awesome, awesome covered bunker silo right here. So both of these are usable for uh, silage. So let me show you this. It's really, really cool. Now the lights come on. Now let's see if I can do it fast enough and you guys can see it. Watch the animation. Oh, I didn't do it yet. Hold on. There we go. You see that? So they they stagger when they go off one right after the other. So it looks like you have water right here too. That's awesome. Lancy Boy's really good about putting water on here. And then you got a big shed there. And you got some little calves. They don't move. They look pretty pretty cute. So really awesome. And uh, you've got milk. This is where you're gonna get your milk at from your dairy. Awesome. This is going to be your buy point for your animals. And another storage. And then this is the dairy, or the, yeah, the dairy area here. So this all looks like it's uh, pretty well the same. Uh, nothing has really changed a whole lot here. These are all custom buildings by Lancy Boy also. 
Amazing, amazing job. More storage. Another shed right here. Absolutely great. You're able to get out into a, a field right here. That's really cool. Beautiful view. Absolutely beautiful. So now let's head over and see if the sheep farm had anything happen to it. I'll see you guys over there. So this is where we are on the map, right here by South Grain also. That's what it looks like. Let's take a look and see what you're going to be able to sell here. So it looks like all your base game stuff, for sure. Um, Sugarcane also. No cotton. And then your rye is going to be able to be sold here. So pretty cool. It looks like it hasn't changed either. We're going to drive on up here to our sheep farm. So we're going to go oh, right here. Right here is our turn in. So past this house. Back here to the field. It's been raining a lot, apparently. But you're going to have your water. You're going to have your food. I'm sure your bales are going to spawn inside there. Looks like your buy. Ooh, they might actually spawn over there. That's interesting. I bet they're over there in that corner, and then that's your buy point right there in the middle. So, pretty nice. I mean, another storage opportunity for a vehicle. I love that little building stuck down over there. So, now let's go and check out this chicken area. And we're going to check out this silo right here, too. And we'll see the uh, fuel spot next to it. So, I'll see you guys over there. So wow, if you've got some really tall equipment, this may be the farm for you. Um, it's a little bitty uh, silo here, only 100,000 liter, but does it have anything in it? No, it doesn't have anything in it. But there's your chickens. They work like chickens work, I'm sure. But these big, massive storage facilities. And check this out, y'all. Look how flat this is. I think Lancy Boy gave you this nice and flat area. Mostly flat area. So you could build up your farm kind of however you wanted. That's a really, really nice touch. Thank you, Lancy Boy, for that. So, we're going to go across the street because I just saw something I really, really want to check out. We're going to take a left here. And this was a fuel station on the map. But it looks like it's another farm that you could use, if you so chose. Check this out. That's really nice. So if we look at the map again, you know, it's got a fuel symbol right there. So I'm assuming fuel is going to be there. And you got another nice big shed. You got, I don't think there's anything in that, but fields right here. I mean, nice storage, nice storage. You've got a bunker silo that you're gonna get to be able to use, perfect. If you come around here, another shed. I mean, it's a perfect farm. So, I mean, I guess you could use it as an extension from your other one over there, if you wanted to, or just create it as your own right here. Really nice and tidy and we're over here in this little corner. And that's right down here. So if we take a look at price, this area is going to cost you 358 and you're going to have three fields. They're not great fields, but that's pretty cool. So next, what we're going to do, we're going to zoom out a little bit, and I'm going to run down over here and check out the market, the spinnery, and another seed tank. And it looks like you've got another farm down here. So that's where we're going to head right now. I will see you guys over there. All right, everybody. So what I need to do is snake into this area right here so if you've got a trailer and you're bringing stuff to this market location you're gonna have to drop it off right there oh man that's gonna be a tight it was it was tough there was a lot of traffic right there honestly it took me quite a while to be able to get in there and then if you have anything for the spinnery you're gonna need to come all the way back here so just definitely keep that in mind I don't think you're gonna be able to knock that fence down anymore it's really funny that it's already down 
but your spinnery is going to be right here. So next I want to go right across the road. Oh, it looks like you can go this way too. So that'll be good. Do a little roundabout-ish type thing. But we're going right across the road to that farm that I said it looked like was on the map, and it is. It's going to be tough to get into, though, I have a feeling. Um, I don't know if there's another entrance down there or not. We'll figure that out once we're down there. But as you can see, traffic is not your friend right here at all. Nope, not at all. So I'm just trying to get out of the... Really? All right, so we're going to come back and pick up that trailer later. Um, the cars just started sacking in and I couldn't get out. So we're going to turn this off and check this out. Another farm. Now, there's no animals down here. But, I mean, look at these awesome storage facilities. Tons of opportunity here to store stuff. And it's all, most of it's enclosed. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Another shed, another lean-to. You got some seeds right here. That might be a little difficult to get into, though. Um, so be, be careful about that. Um, it does look like there's another entrance right here. Uh, water tank also. And is there one more down here? Nope, you got another bunker silo. Awesome. So if you are really, really into grass work, and you've got a bunch of cows you need to take care of, you don't need to build a bunch of bunker silos. He's put a bunch of them in here. This now makes four bunker silos that you have access to. That is really, really cool. So we're going to keep going on around the map. And where we're going to go next is we're actually going to go all the way over here to the sheep farm. Because we've been up over this way. We've seen that. Seen that. Seen all that. And yeah, we're going to go over this area now so I will see you all when we get over there all right we are coming up on the back side I guess you would say to this farm right here and this is the sheep so if we come out here you're gonna see that there's a little entrance right here I'm gonna park here and walk in so you've got a gate obviously more storage Tons of more storage. Perfect. More seeds. Storage. Now, like I said, this is sheep. So yeah, this is your pen. So this is where you're going to buy them at. And then this is going to be your food. And your water is out there in the middle, if you guys can see it. But... Looks like you got two more buildings back over here. And a little bit of a flat area that you could maybe put something else in right here if it was small enough. Another gate, another road going around that way. You're right next to the uh, ocean, the bay area right there. So it looks like that's going to be your wool. That's awesome. I really wish they could figure out a way to get the rest of these to work. Instead of just being like storage like that, actual buy points. So you could pick stuff up. That'd be really, really cool. More older rundown equipment set here. Super cool. So we're going to hop back in. Now we're going to take a little trip up over here to the biogas plant. And then we'll take a look at this. Uh, the sawmill area, the spinnery, another spinnery. And we'll take a look at the pigs. And then we'll keep working our way back up around over here. And finish off with this. So we're we're getting there, y'all. We are. I haven't seen too many things that are different yet. Um, but I really like a lot of storage. I mean, not that I use it all. It just it makes the map feel a lot more. If lived in is kind of like a term, uh, definitely lived in instead of just one or two buildings around a big open area. Makes it feel like there's a lot of people that could be around on this map. So this is going to be your biogas. Everything goes in there, obviously. you got two more bunker silos you get to use if you own it. And then your other sale points back there, similar to the one that was there before. Manure, grass straw, all those types of things. 
sawmill is down over there. But since we're right here, let's go take a look at the big farm. Here you go. Looks like your manure is going to go there. Slurry points over there. You got your food. You've got straw. You've got a buy point. You've got water. Got some storage options. Pretty nice. I don't think you'd be able to add too much here. But now, let's go down that road right over there to get to the sawmill. And there is a little bit of forestry on here. Not anything crazy like some of the other maps that we've seen, obviously. But you could make a little bit of money on trees. So this is the sawmill way down here on the river, or the, the shore. So your spinnery is also going to be right here on this edge. And that is going to be where you drop off wood chips, right? So sawmill is going to take, yep, wood chips. It's the only spot that I see too. So I'm guessing wood regular trees are going to go there too. Can't confirm that because I don't have any right now. If you see something different, definitely throw it in the comments below. Let me know. And let everybody else know, too. This, The comments section is not just about communication to me. Sometimes it's beneficial to have comments in there that, you know, are intended for everybody. So if you learn something from this, if there's something that's a little bit different from what you're seeing from what I show, definitely throw it in there. I want the comment section to help everybody, um, not just for you to communicate with me. Now, don't get me wrong. I like the communication. But... It's not what it's, uh, it doesn't always have to be about just that. So next, let's go to the port and make sure nothing else down there changed. And that's going to be right down this road right here. So here is the port and it looks like we have a gentleman driving around on a forklift. So be careful. Try not to run him over. Cell point's going to be right over here. That's cool. Getting a little bit of air in the JCB. That's careful. That is tight. Holy cow. Really tight. And is that the only thing down here? Just the port? Yes, it is. All right. So, oh, actually, check this out. Sawmill and sawmill. So is that listed twice? We only have one sawmill listed. So that's very interesting. Um, I'm sure one of them is going to be actual logs and the other one is wood chips. So let's drive up over there and confirm that really quick. And here we are at the sawmill. So yeah, what you're going to be able to do is put your logs, holy cow, right over here in this nice rectangle. Get out, sell them there, and you're good to go. All right, so let's take a look at the map. Where do we want to go now? There is one more farm, and it's pigs. Let's go take a look at it. And I'm interested as to what this spot here on the right-hand side is. So let's go drive over there. Now, if I remember this one, it's a really, really cool way that he did this. Lancy Boy did. So I'm really, really intrigued. And check it. There is another farm right here on this right hand side there's no animals at all but all this storage this is really really cool Lancy boy you are awesome man and I'm sure there's other buildings scattered in throughout here too that you could use if you really wanted to be you know um, kinda off the grid a little bit more if that's a term to use for farming simulator so this one I really really like this one so you're gonna drive down into this farm and yeah it's going to be the pigs so you're going to have your manure there your um looks like food is going to go there straw is going to go there water's down over there um you've got another spot out there in the middle of the field so maybe is this buy point what is out here are you actually going to have to come all the way out here and put the water in? That's interesting. And that's food. So where's the buy point?
I'm not seeing it show up, everybody. Really interesting. But that's definitely manure. And then more buildings, obviously. Oh, the buy point might be over on the other side. I bet it is. I bet it's right here. Yep, that's the buy point right there. So now that we've looked at all of the animals, all right, the pigs, so this place and the other one over by the BGA are going to be 300 animals each. Your sheep are going to be 500 each. Your cows are 500 each. And your chicken are 500. So you could have a total of 3,100 animals on this map as it sits right now without uh, having to add anything else. So another really, really cool spot here that I wanted to show you guys is this market. And once again, it is gonna be a pain to get into because you have to drive through here and not run anybody over. Um, but the trick is gonna be getting out. There's really only one way to get out and there's cones. So I don't, think that's going to be your best bet. I do not remember that from before, but he's added all this road construction here. That is so cool. So cool. Um, I wonder if we can actually do it, though. I wonder if driver can be driverish and go over. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that for sure. So, um, one more spot that I really, really wanted to check out. We're sitting right here right now. And we did not look at this place. I want to go down here and check out this really quickly. So we'll just follow this main road around past where we started the tour at. And uh, go check out that one farm. So I'll see you guys over there. Alright everybody, so where we are, that is the sheep uh, property. The sheep farm just up from the South Grains. And this area right here is another area with a ton of storage options. Now, it's really interesting. Check that out. That's some really, really cool animations. Now, it honestly seems like it's more for, like, uh, crop storage than it is for uh, equipment. Just the way that the walls and everything look. I don't know. It could be typical to this type of area. But this really looks more conducive to uh, crop storage but either way still really cool you got another shed out over here that you could use you can get around over there got another building back over here i love how this is built into this area too like they just leveled it all off and if you want you could put a little bit more stuff over here really really awesome man lancy boy you have once again made an absolutely beautiful beautiful map now you all may be wondering the lighthouse okay so the lighthouse is over here there's no way to get to it at all the edge of the map the border is actually right around here I tried to walk out and get over to it can't do it not at all so it's a, uh, a really beautiful beautiful map um i see 116 right here on the maps 120 121 122 do we have anything bigger than 122 i don't see it so it looks like 122 fields is what we're gonna have here that is a lot and I think something like 80 plus have missions on them. So you're going to stay busy if you want to do contracts. Really, really cool map. Um, there's nothing else really on the details that I need to go over. So I'm just going to finish off, drive around a little bit. And um, say I appreciate you stopping in, checking out the video. And if you want to stay up to date on all my latest farm tours map tours for console go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're over there go ahead and hit the notification bell i'm putting out multiple videos a day sometimes with the precision farming that i've got going on or my let's play series that i've got going on 
might start getting into some challenges. I've been um, had some different content creators reach out to me and uh, asked to ask me if I'd wanted to participate in some of their challenges that they have. Let's play style stuff, role play a little bit. So I might be getting into that a little bit too. But I'm definitely still going to keep doing these map tours. Definitely going to keep testing out some precision farming stuff for everybody. Um, I'm really liking that side of it a lot. And uh, I just want to say, have a great day, everybody. And until next time, this is Driver53 signing off.